All right, our next speaker is coming all the way from Vienna. He's here to talk about languages. His WordPress career started in 2005 with WordPress 1.5. And for those of you who don't know, that's the version that added pages to WordPress. So today, Alex is sponsored by Automatic to work on the Polyglots team and the Meta team. And he's the creator of Translate Live. If you're interested in the Fediverse, please make sure to talk, him as, uh, to talk to him as well because he has tons of wisdom to share on that topic. But right now, he's going to focus on his biggest improvement in translating WordPress in the last couple of years, <laughs> Translate Live. So please give it up for Alex Kirk. Thank you, Taco. All right, um, today I'm gonna talk about Translate Live and translating WordPress. So translating WordPress mostly means contributing translations to the WordPress project from English to your uh, language that you speak. Um, you can translate WordPress core, plugins, and themes. And for many, this is the first step into contributing to WordPress. It happens at translate.wordpress.org. And there is an introductionary handbook, the Polyglots handbook. So this is what uh, translation into environment typically looks like. You have the translations on the right, uh, the English text on the left, and the status of the translations is highlighted through a colored background. And when you enter the translation, you've got a translation field, um, a text box, there is some metadata, there might be a suggestion from the translation memory. And, but this is how you would get started. So first you would think, what am I translating? So the screen can be a bit overwhelming, but here you can see that you're translating a plugin, which is called Friends. And the first thing that you're supposed to translate is this string, checking URL. So which URL? And what, why should we translate these? Um, the plugin is called Friends, but it's about URLs. So that's a bit confusing. Why is that? So by default, the sorting of the strings the, um, comes from the priority of the strings. Uh, developer can specify how important a string might be, but reality is that mostly people don't do that. So the next thing that it's sorted by is date added, when the string was added. So if a plugin is active, new strings enter the plugin all the time. So the most recent update would have added some strings, and those are the that you see in the top. So, what would be better? Here you can see I found a way um, to show strings that seem more useful. So, the first string would be Welcome to the Friends plugin. Probably that's what the people see first. So, how did I do that? On one hand, you can enter a search term, and magically I found out that here you could specify welcome.php and use the file name in source as the sorting criteria. But who would know that? And it doesn't work for all plugins. Like They have different things that you need to specify. So can we do this differently? So just recapping, the typical translation environment means that you often start to translate somewhere in the middle you're missing the context. You don't know, is this string a headline, a button? It makes a difference in different languages. But the good thing about the typical environment is that there is all sorts of tools. So for example, we've got comments and discussions and history. There's placeholder highlighting, warnings. There's a glossary where you are hinted to how to translate typical terms. You get a translations to other languages, which which could be useful if your language is similar to another language. And we've got translation memory and machine translation there. And the community uh, created browser extensions like Optict, which makes translation for, especially for validators, much more uh, convenient. So I'm suggesting to use Translate Live. It's a hands-on approach, and I will show shortly what it means. It's built on WordPress Playground, and it runs WordPress and a plugin or a theme in your browser. 
And in addition, it provides inline translation through something that we call local cloud press. And when you're finished with translating, you can submit it to translate.wordpress.org. So you can visually see the current translation state of a plugin using Translate Live. You can add new translations and modify existing ones. You can try translations without submitting them yet. So you can experiment with translations without that being exposed. That we've, got, we've integrated several tools, for example, placeholders, warnings, and glossary, and machine translation. So this is what it looks like. Um, it's full of colors, but the colors mean something. So first, you would click the right text, uh, the red text with the right click, and you would get this pop-up. There's green text, which means it's already translated. That's yellow text means it's waiting. Non-highlighted text means it's not part of the plugin. Here you can see that there's a glossary term highlighted, and we've got placeholder checks. Furthermore, you would save the translation with this button. Um, you can query the machine translation, and it will automatically ask for glossary terms. You can modify the query and query again, and copy the suggestion and modify it before saving. So. A short demo. This is a uh, recording, but it's live. It's, this is how fast WordPress starts in the playground. And you can see there's text that I can translate. And I don't speak Chinese, so I've used machine translation, and I hope it's, it's kind of OK. But it serves the demo of, to show you how you can transform your interface from English into your local language. So typically, you would either enter your own translation or you would use machine translation. You can see that the uh, query to open your eye here is modified using the glossary terms. So let's go ahead and translate some more. And as you can see, it can sometimes happen that the placeholders aren't submitted. So what you can do, you can modify your query and say, please make sure to include those placeholders and ask it again. And then it made a better approach the next time. So let's quickly speed it up and do some more translations. There is more to be done. And as you can see, gradually you're transforming the interface from originally English to your language. And it also means that you're translating the things first that you see first. And that works for any plugin. And now if we can uh, switch it off so that you can now see what the screen is like. So how do you access Translate Live? It's very easy. On every plugin or theme page, there is a Translate Live link. You can click it, and it will boot up the plugin um, in your browser. So some things about Translate Live that are important to know. So it's very quick to get started. It works without a WordPress.org account. If you do that, you just download a PO file when you're finished. It's very visual, as you just saw. And it's good for translating a theme to a new language from scratch or to modify existing translations and improve them. You see the translated con items in context, and you know like some languages are shorter or longer. You can immediately check uh, if it works for there. Good to know. Don't forget to submit. It's, the idea is to try it, but also like you can throw it away accidentally if you don't save. So submit it. There's a button at the bottom. And also, if you have a very complete translation of a plugin, it might not be the best tool. It's, then it can be hard to spot that, that final missing string that you want to translate. So use the table view for that. And also, the performance depends on your computer. And speed is like 7 megabyte initial download. And it is cached. So the next time you try it, it goes, loads faster. But just keep that in mind. There's some things that can still be improved. Uh, it's hit and miss. You saw that sometimes English text is not recognized. There was this gray box in the demo that didn't work. Um, very large plugins can be slow. Some plugins, before you can really use them, they require a setup. So what to do about that? And other plugins are sometimes needed to actually run this plugin. So I can rec have a recommendation, a recommendation here for plugin developers. There's a new plugin preview feature 
where you provide a blueprint in your plugin, and there's this URL where you can find everything about it. And Translate Live will use that same um, blueprint uh, to boot up the plugin into a state where you can start translating right away. So, a summary. It's an easy way to get new, uh, new translation contributions started. It's accessible for all plugins. And um, yeah, the local GlotPress that actually is powering this will be shipped in GlotPress 5.0. So you can actually use that on your own WordPress coming forward. Thank you. Wow, this is really impressive. I think this is the first time I've been in a track with three lightning talks where at least two out of three were exactly on time. So really well done. Um, okay, let me do my little trick again because I've been hiding stash here. And of course, this is for you as well. Thank you so much Thank you, for Dr. your presentation. And I'm Thank curious you. here in the room, who has ever translated something for WordPress? Who's going to use this? Yeah. I mean, I definitely am. This is absolutely fantastic. Thank you, Alex. Thank you.